For the operationalization of the GMO laboratory, the website Biosafety Clearinghouse BCH serves as an information exchange platform for GMOs. It also assists stakeholders to comply with their obligations under the Cartagena Protocol as well as providing information to the general public. As a signatory to the Cartagena Protocol, Namibia is expected to establish a BCH under the Biosafety Act, which was launched last year. Um, it's very important that um, the first of all public get aware of information um, and this information, the right information are very necessary. Uh, first of all, for you to be able to make um, informed decision, you must be able to access information, the right information, and you'll be able to participate in decision making. So, and we are saying this is the right platform um, um, for, for where for um, getting the about safety information with regard to GMOs, not only in Namibia, but within also beyond borders, like different other countries, what procedure do we have with regard to um, genetically modified organism um, laws and regulations. Um, this will then um, inform um, um, public or other agencies or government within the country of how they can access this information. Information sharing on the BCH website is to ensure global access to a variety of scientific, technical, environmental, legal and capacity building information with regards to the transporting and the use of GMOs. Currently, there are no approved GMOs in the country, as the GMO list of products is still to be approved by cabinet. But what impact does the absence of this list have on the country? Um, I won't say that it affects the country in any way because, I mean, um, you have to make the right decisions um, regarding to any product that you, are, you, are, um, you want to import in the country. Uh, we, for example, see what is happening currently on the ban of some um, food products from different countries because of some outbreaks and we don't want to make uh, fast decisions because this might be affecting our countries. The three-day workshop aims to provide the country's key stakeholders with a clear understanding of the common format of BCH records and procedures for registering and publishing biosafety-related decisions. Chulana Fuka, NBC News, Okahanja.